Right, let's take a look at uh, the automatic uh, uh, analysis uh, video. On a previous video, I've showed you about matchup analysis and the various uh, uh, player and team comparisons and reports. I want to show you this automatic weights analysis. This will be the last part of uh, the analysis portion of this program. And what I would recommend is before you actually run really any of these analysis, make sure that uh, the active players are correct. So in other words, uh, appropriate in in injuries have been applied. So I would run the uh, player injuries before adjustments, uh, and then you, you know you go into your analysis. So I will assume we've done that. Go into automatic weights analysis. Busy screen comes up. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Um, okay, so uh, so what do you got? Well, like I said, it is pretty busy. But let's look at automatic first. And this is going to do, uh, well, first let's algorithms get the best individual uh, scrolls. So that's the automatic. And notice as soon as I click that dish run auto command button will be enabled. You don't have to do anything else other than to make sure, one, what, what's your active string. So this is using uh, first string players, and the actual game date is 521. And you want to have scores, uh, you know, already in the system when you're doing the analysis. So uh, this is for 521. Leave everything alone, and then just hit auto run, and, and I'll show you what's going to go on. So as soon as you do that, uh, the team weights will go to minus 99, player weights minus 99. It'll select uh, team pitching, team batting, team fielding, and it's going to it's going to go look at the teams first. And essentially, what it's going to do is it's going to take every one of the scrolls one at a time and um, set them to one and do a prediction. It'll go back, set that one to zero, go to the second one. There's 65 scrolls for team and about 65 scrolls for the player. So that's why this will take a little bit of time. If you look down here, this counter is, is counting up. It's actually doing the team uh, evaluations first, which is actually quicker. Once it gets into the player, it'll take a little bit longer. So this, this will take, you know, five, six, seven minutes to run. But again, it's got a, it runs... All the predictions, 65 times for teams, and then an additional 65 times for uh, players. So again, right now, we're running through the teams. And notice, it just shifted over. The teams are now set at zero, and now the players are uh, set. And it'll start counting up um, for your player predictions. And if you look down here, the counter just went to zero, and now she'll start counting up from zero to 65 and complete the players. So you can see it's going to take a little bit of time. So uh, let me see if there's anything else I want to show you. Yeah, so if you look down here, uh, you can stop You can stop the analysis completely with the stop button, or you can put it on pause. So if, you, if I click here, pause, uh, it'll take a second to... You know, to, it has to wait its turn. So let's take a look. Notice the counter is started. It's a 60-second timer. And it's just pausing. So if you wanted to go do something else within the program, you could. You want to start it back up again, you hit the start button. And the analysis will continue. So uh, for right now, I'm going to put it, uh, I'm going to put the video on pause until this is completed. And I'll be back. Okay, so the uh, computer is complete. There's uh, notice the players were. Uh, that's the last part of the uh, of this particular uh, analysis. So the players were done, counted up to 65. And so what do we got? Well, you hit the button show results, and what you're going to see here on the screen is this is the slide number. This is the slide's name, and notice. Um, each each slide went to a value of one when it did the analysis. So when, for example, when slide uh, zero was set, which is the uh, the wins pitcher win team wins, 
it hit 14, uh, 14 wins. So in other words, for that game date of 521, I think on that date there was 15 games. Well, just by setting that one slide to one, everything else would be zero. Uh, the program will hit 14 winners or 87.5% of the game day, which obviously is uh, pretty good. But unfortunately, that could change, you know, day to day. So that's why you're looking for what's the best combination. But anyway, here you can look at uh, every one of the slides, you know, including uh, the players and um, – and see uh, how they did in terms of the number of wins if, in fact, that slide was the only one uh, in play. Okay, now you can also come up here to reports, best scrolls. A report will be generated, so you can print it out. And here you can see it kind of replicates what the screen is showing, but it's going to list all the different scrolls, scroll name, and what the win uh, and percentages are. Okay, of course, you can export that, print it, and so on. All right, so that's uh, automatic tuning. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, manual uh, evaluation. If you notice down here, the run auto is not enabled, and that's because under settings, the algorithm look for, for, to get best individual scrolls. That's what will turn on the auto. Okay, so we'll, we'll leave that uh, disabled. Um, and so what we'll do is team weight factors. We're going to leave team at zero. We're going to put the player weights, let's say, at one. You can put any number, but it's only going to affect the player weights. I'm going to hit player pitching. So the weighting factors for those associated with the player pitching are going to be set to one. The special weighting factors, that's these here, home uh, the last 10 game streaks, Pythagorean, you can, you can even hit this force values and leave them at zero. And then we're going to do the one time run. So again, it's going to go out and, uh, it's already done. It went out, uh, and analyze the player pitching. And so let's notice a couple of things here. If you look, you've got this box that shows the team and the player points. You could come up here and uh, just toggle uh, the uh, column name and it'll uh, sort. So right now, Houston Astros, they have the, the best player points when the player weighting factors are set to one for player pitching. This box here shows the uh, game day matchups for 521. Down here, win totals uh, with player weights, player pitching, it's going to hit 13 out of the uh, 15 games, and I believe that's 81.25%. You can come over here, toggle off player pitching. Let's put play, player batting hit one time. And it's recalculated. And notice um, with player batting, uh, Dodgers has the, the most points. But again, when the player batting predictions are looked at only with each weighting factor set at one, you'd have 10 wins or 62%. You can come over here and let's say hit all of the players' uh, predictions. Hit the one time and see what we get. Remember, it's got to go through uh, the calculations. Let's look at the uh, highest scores, the Dodgers again. This time, you only have nine winners, 56.25% when you're only using uh, the players set at one. But you're at least honing in on what factors are giving you the best combinations. You can, you can look at just teams. Set this up here to one. We can put player at zero, although it doesn't matter because it's not going to use the players. Hit one time, and uh, here we see the Dodgers uh, with the, the uh, max amount of points. And you actually, with team, all the team predictions, you'll get uh, 12 of the 15 games or 75%. Okay, so uh, 
Currently, there are no additional reports, hard copy reports. Those are the best scrolls, and if you click on that, it's going to show you that last uh, scrolls when, uh, when the auto was run. Okay, uh, so that's... Uh, okay, well, let me show you one other thing. Let's go back here to uh, player pitching. Remember, this before was set at 1. But now let's change these to minus 99. When minus 99 is set, it says use active weight. So what it'll do now is for, for player pitching, it's going to use the weighted factors. Let's go look. Under the weight, it's going to use, uh, well, let's see. Remember, we had these set at zero. So what we need to do is let's bring in um, auto weights. Now, if you look at auto players, you got you got a whole bunch of values. So what this minus 99 is going to do is use those values. So instead of everyone set at 1, it's now going to be set based upon whatever weighting factor file you have selected. And let's hit the one time. And uh, notice right now um, the way those were set is all the teams have a negative value. So in reality, I'm sorry, let's do it this way. The Houston Astros has the most points uh, and then scale down. And a lot of teams have negative values because it's just, just the way those weighting factors are set up. Okay? So you can use minus 99. Get all of these. Hit one time, and it's pretty much what the predictions normally do when you run uh, the predictions report. With the exception right now is you don't have uh, the home team and the, the special weighting factors. And um, right now under team, looks like the Dodgers under player, you got the Dodgers also. So the Dodgers looks like stands out. Uh, uh, when you're running uh, that particular weighting factor file. Notice you have 11, uh, 11 wins, 68%, 69%. Okay, so this hopefully gives you an idea of how this, uh, how these uh, uh, manual and auto tuning of weighting factors is going to work.